name's Captain Rom Duckworth of the Richfield, Connecticut Fire Department, and I want to talk to you about a program at this year's FDIC. It's called Three Things You Need to Know About Bus Collision Response. Now, this program is going to be of interest to you, whether you arrive at work to work on one of these, or to work on one of these, or like me, a little bit of both. I've responded to a few bus collisions in my career, sometimes as a grunt with the bad luck of being first on scene, sometimes as an EMS officer, and sometimes as an incident commander. Over the years of taking classes and most importantly going on real calls, I've come up with a framework that can help your department respond to these incidents, whatever the size of the incident and whatever the size of your department. Every day in your response area, large vehicles filled with potential patients, often carrying hazardous materials, may be headed for a collision with another vehicle, a solid structure, or a crowd of pedestrians. These mass casualties on wheels present a host of problems for emergency responders. Bus collision incidents may be inherently complex, but the techniques to manage each part of them are simple and can be used quickly and with confidence. The role of the fire department will vary depending on the agency, but managing the incident will always be a factor and the most important element of incident management in these cases is likely to be patient care. The primary issues responders face can be quickly categorized generally as lots of patients, lots of problems, and lots of partners. As with any incident, problems managing bus collisions can be addressed by completing all of the right jobs in the right order. Standard operating procedures and predefined mass casualty incident roles can certainly be a good place to start, but whatever job you assign or are assigned, working to size up, set up, and move the incident forward will help you complete your job. By doing that, you can really start to bring things under control. State, regional, or local procedures and SOPs will typically define the expectations of whatever role you take uh, at a bus collision, um, but as with any MCI, Virtually every role can be made more manageable by using the three-step method of size up, set up, and move things forward. Whatever the size of your department and whatever kind of bus collision incidents you expect to manage or be part of, I look forward to seeing you in Indianapolis at FDIC 2018.